May 10th, 2022. 73 degrees out today. Sunny as all get out. Today is going to be a Dynaglow cook day. So yesterday I was at a little out of the way store and they had a four pound pork roast and it was like 99 cents a pound so it's probably on the verge of being rancid but um, no honestly it looked fine it smelled fine so what I'm doing now is I have the Dynaglow going some oak in there and I'm gonna bring it up to about 400 degrees because I haven't used it in quite a while so I'm gonna get the temperature really high burn off any critters or spiders bugs anything that might be living in there I'm gonna pressure wash it and then I'm gonna put the um, the pork in so what I did with the pork last night it's been marinating quite a while actually probably like 18 hours I made a quarter cup of brown sugar a quarter cup of sweet and spicy barbecue sauce several cups of water blended it really well put some garlic in it of course and I sliced the pork I not sliced it but I pierced it with a fillet knife in quite a few spots and marinated it from yesterday until now and it's probably going to be another half hour or so before I put it on here but this is the beginning of dinner for tonight so and I'm gonna make some uh, potato and leek soup l-e-e-k and this is just the beginning so I'm gonna get this cleaned up cooled down pressure wash and then we're gonna get things rolling so we'll be back with all the air vents open the chimney open it's pretty easy to get this thing really hot we're approaching 475 degrees so I'm gonna let the wood in the uh, firebox burn down and once that happens then we're going to get this thing cleaned up and yeah we're over 475 we're gonna easily make 500 so I don't have an issue with any weird stuff surviving in there but um yeah we're gonna let this finish clean it up and then we're gonna get the meat on the dining glow has been overheated cleaned and ready to go and here is my piece of pork with the um, seasonings marinate and all that on it this is going to go in the dining glow uncovered about 15 or 20 minutes on each side around 250 to 300 degrees kind of to sear it and after that it's going to sit in here for probably four maybe even five hours at 250 degrees or as close as I can keep it to 250 and then we're gonna see how this comes out in the meantime I'm gonna be working on the potato and leek soup so this ought to be a pretty pretty good yummy dinner I forgot to mention and I just put the meat in the dining glow that the wood that I'm using is oak with just a bit of apple added to it so that makes for a pretty unique flavor you know that I like anyway and um, yeah you know after cleaning this as well as I did it still looks a little yucky I guess that smoke tar is pretty tenacious we've been in here about 20 minutes per side about 275 degrees what I'm gonna do now is pull this out wrap it in tin foil put a half a stick of butter on the top half a stick split in half on the top and bottom get this temperature right around 250 and it's gonna stay in there for a long time and while this is doing its thing I'm gonna work on the potato and leek soup all right guys it's time for the leek and potato soup half a stick of butter throw it in the pot pan whatever you're using 32 ounces of chicken broth and we're gonna add some water to this as well now to make this I do not recommend that you peel your potatoes or do anything with them 
because you're going to want the starch to make this soup a little bit thick. And what's going to happen is we are going to boil this for 45 minutes to an hour and we're going to then puree it in a food processor or whatever you have and then we're going to strain it. So the potato starch is going to help to thicken things up. The garlic is optional, you know, in Dr. Seuss's world, but it's a necessity in mine. So, and I have six potatoes that roughly fit in the palm of my hand. And you can cut them into big chunks. Like I said, we're going to boil the heck out of this. And then we're going to puree it, strain it, and it's going to be incredible, I promise. And then we're going to use a lot of garlic. And the same thing, we're just going to put this in there let it boil out and then when we strain it well we're going to puree it first and then when we strain it the flavor is going to be there. So I'm going to put six cloves of garlic in this and these are actually pretty good sized cloves so maybe we're only going to do now nah, we're going to do them because you can't have too much garlic on anything, including ice cream. Now for the leek. Typically I'll cut off like this stuff that's obviously funky. But if it's good, you want to leave it in there because we are going to, as I said, puree it. And it's just going to add to the flavor. And we're going to use the whole thing. And if you've never had leek, man, it's phenomenal. Just going to cut it up a little bit to help with the uh, separation when it does boil. You don't really have to do this. But I think it brings out more flavor. And after all, that's why we eat, right? Not because we're hungry, because it tastes good. And then you're going to want to add to that a half onion of your choice. The dahlia, red, white, doesn't matter. The, um, the red onion and I get along well. The dahlia and I get along well. White onion, if it's not overcooked, it just tears me up. So this I can eat like an apple without any side effects. So this is my onion of choice, the red. Probably should have had a bigger pot. So now what I'm going to do is put in enough water to just fill the pot. This is all ready to go. It's on the stove, cranked up high, and we're going to boil this for at least 30 minutes, 45 preferably. We'll see how much water we lose and then we're going to puree it. The pork's been in for about 45 minutes total. It's seared on the outside, exactly what I was looking to do. So now it's time to wrap it in tin foil with the uh, sweet and spicy barbecue. And I'm gonna seal it up tight, put it back in the Dynaglow, and it's gonna sit in there for several hours. About 3.30 in the afternoon, we got a pretty cool moon in the sky today. Remember, the Dynaglow Signature Series smoker is for outdoor use only. So it's been about 45 minutes or so, temperature's climbing, I just put wood in it, but we've been pretty successful at keeping the temperature around 250 degrees. It's climbing pretty rapidly now, so we're going to have to damper this down a bit. But just a quick update. I just came out about 45 minutes or so and I wanted to flip the uh, the pork and the temperature is a bit high 
I was hoping for 250. We're over 275, approaching 300, so I need to damper this down a bit more. But I'm sure it'll be okay regardless. It's a very thick cut of meat, so we should be safe. All right, so leek and potato soup would not be complete without croutons. So I've got four slices of this whole wheat bread. Kind of a fan of that. And it's been around a while. It's not moldy, thankfully. So we're going to cut this into bite-sized pieces. Throw it in a bowl. Yeah, maybe they're a little bigger than bite-sized. And then we're going to put some olive oil on them. A little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of black pepper. And the amounts of those seasonings are completely up to you depending on, you know, how you like things to taste. Liberal amounts. Olive oil is like garlic. You just can't have enough. A little bit of onion powder. A little bit of garlic. Alright, maybe more than a little bit of garlic. A little bit of black pepper. Truly a little bit. And then we're going to mix this all up. And we're going to try and get this olive oil into each piece of this bread. Take your time. It's going to be worth it. So we're pretty good as far as mixing it up goes. Now we're going to take a cookie sheet with some aluminum foil on it and we're going to spread these out. They're going to go in the oven at 350 degrees until, and it depends on how moist your bread is that you're making the croutons from how much olive oil you put in, but it's going to go into the oven until they just turn crunchy. You don't want to overdo them because then you'll have that burnt flavor and we don't want that. This has been boiling for about an hour and ten minutes and we need to puree it. If I had a food processor this would be really quick, but I don't. I have whatever the heck this thing is called. But once we get this pureed, we're going to strain it, and that's going to be the soup. So you can see the butter in here. You probably can't see the other seasonings. But I'm here to tell you that this recipe works and it is phenomenal. And like I said, you don't want to wash your potatoes or rinse them. You want to cut them up, leave the skins on, and use them immediately because the starch helps to thicken the, um, the liquid. All right, guys, so this is the result of about five and a half, six hours in the dining glow at approximately 250 degrees. Wrapped in tin foil at the end. So, yeah, this is, you can make pulled pork out of this, no problem. Yeah, I can tell you what, I can just tell by the smell. I think it's got a lot to do with the time that I marinated it and the slits that I cut in it so that the marinade could get inside to the meat. But this is, yeah, this is very nice, very nice. So the Dynaglow comes through again. So guys, there it is. The Dynaglow pork and the potato and leek soup with the homemade croutons. So you guys enjoy your weekend. Actually, it's Tuesday. <laughs> May 10th, yeah, so I'm way off base for the weekend. But anyway, whatever you're doing, enjoy, and we'll talk soon. Take care, y'all.